Over the last few months, I have collected quite a few sweater vests and so in today's video, I wanted to share how I style all this vest that I have thrifted and so I hope that you enjoy. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather. Thank you so much for watching. So without the chit chatting, let's get right into this video. All right, here we go. Okay, so I have maybe six or seven. I have maybe seven vests that I have here. And I wanted to start out with the first one and how I style them. Now, uh, out of the seven sweater vests, two of them are from the guys department, are men's sweater. And so starting out with the first one, I wanted to, um, I picked this up a few months ago and this is um, Australian Merino wool. So extremely high made quality. If you're interested, I'm gonna show you the brand anyway. Here we go. Uh, Trannery, tra <laughs> I don't know. 100% Merino wool, size large. The color is a very, very dark charcoal color. And so what I did is that um, we are in mid-October and so we still have a few beautiful sunny day and so I thought that this uh, vest will go so well with just like a very very thin layer of um, a very simple white t-shirt which is how I pair them right over here um, but how I style them is that I just wear a wide leg um, very stretchy denim pants from Old Navy, thrifted as well. And then I just put on some very simple uh, t-shirt and then I have this over it. And because it is still very sunny, I just wear some open open toes. Um, uh, they're not really wedges, but they're kind of like open toe heels and it has like two inches tall. So super simple. I think it looks kind of cool, I think. I don't know, um, but that's the first one. So you guys let me know what you think about this first one. Right. Okay, this next one is actually um, sort of like describe my signature style and the way I dress and how I typically dress. So this vest, I actually just picked up a few days ago. Um, it was, I mean, I plan on doing this video and I have like six sweater vests, but when I went to Goodwill with my husband the other day, I walked in, I saw it like right off on one of those brand new rack that they left out and I was like, okay, she's looking at me. It was meant to be like, so I picked it up and it is also another guy sweater, guy sweater vest. It's a very, very old one. Okay, here we'll go. Um, here's the brand if you are interested. It's called the Harbor Bay uh, Trading Company from San Francisco, California, which is where I'm from in case you guys are wondering. All right. So this one is a size large. It is very old, like I said. It has 85% wool and 15% nylon. The only complaint that I actually have about this vest is that it, she's a little itchy. So the way I style them on this uh, with this outfit is actually perfect. So like, if you wear them on its own, it it's it has a little bit of itchiness. It's not like it's not like really strong, but it is there. So what I did is that I kept on the exact same uh, white t-shirt and then I put on this blue uh, linen shirt that you know I thrifted a few weeks ago from Uniqlo. And then I also wear uh, wide leg pants. The pants that I'm wearing is from J. Crew. It is kind of slightly cropped it, so it's like above my ankle, but it's super duper comfortable. I feel super relaxed in this outfit. And it's actually kind of perfect for October and November because I have three layers on and I don't feel like it's quite heavy yet, but it's still keeping me very, very warm from without wearing a jacket. So um, this is this is definitely define my style. If I have to describe my style, um, this is something that I, uh, that's, that's like a me signature um, kind of a, an outfit. So I think it's really cute. <laughs> I think everything I try, no, actually not. I think so far, I love the first outfit. I like the second outfit. And so we're gonna move on to the third one and then you guys let me know, all right. 
Okay, we are moving on to our third outfit. This one is a little more, it's a little dressier. I say this outfit right here would be great to go out for a like a Sunday brunch with your husband, with your loved one, or just to even go out at night. I think it's still kind of cute. It's obviously not like super dressy, but I think this outfit, that this next outfit, you pretty much can wear them to like, anywhere you want to go and I think it would just be like the perfect uh, occasion for whatever it is you um, want to do so um, if you guys remember my <laughs> very most recent outfits uh, challenge from the Nordstrom rack that I uh, picked up some skirts well I am wearing that one black skirt with a very big this one is a size 3x so it is it is big it's a very old vintage uh, Pendleton, and I know it's very large. I'm gonna show it to you guys in case you're interested. All right, very simple, 100% wool, and I love when it comes to like outerwear. I love everything oversized. You know, it just gives me a lot of room to like uh, put like layers on if I need to. A 100% merino wool. Um, I actually thrifted this vest a long long time ago so I have this vest I would I wanted to say maybe like a year and a half going on two years now so the way I uh, style this very champagne color like with a very uh, blue stripe bun down linen shirt with my black skirts and I don't know um, usually I would wear ankle boots for this one or even like knee-high boots I think it's still very cute but I don't have any knee-high boots and I was getting kind of tired of wearing my ankle boots so for this outfit I just um, I wanted to be a little dressier so I put on my black my black heels and I actually love it and then you know just to give it a little bit of color I just use my Matewell crossbody bag so that is the third one if you guys are enjoying this uh, video uh, so far please don't forget to hit like subscribe to the channel if you are new here you know it really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate that if you guys can just hit the like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already Okay, so moving on to the fourth one. This one I have, uh, I have, pro I have, I was having a little difficulty trying to come up with the outfits for this one because um, I do have to admit I bought this brand new uh, and the tack is still on and I actually never wore them. I just bought it because it is hand knitted and it is just ultra soft, it's so beautiful. I love the color. When I saw them, I was like, oh my God, she's just the cutest. It has like um, pastel color, everything. It's the purple, the baby pink, the yellow, and I just thought that it just looks absolutely adorable, so I bought it, but I never actually had a chance to wear it, so I thought for today's video, I would bring it out and style them, but I do have to admit, this is probably my least favorite look because as much as I love this sweater, it was very hard to style them. Um, the first one I tried on was some like a, a t-shirt, a black t-shirt underneath with some black pants. Um, I didn't really feel the vibe for that because it doesn't, I want to wear something that makes me feel like me and that outfit didn't really like, it didn't make me feel comfortable. So then I switched it out to a long linen maxi skirt and then even then I still didn't feel right. Um, something about it, I, I wore it without a white shirt and it still didn't feel right. So then I put a white shirt underneath. Um, just long story short, the whole entire time I was trying on this sweater, it's just like with the three outfits, nothing feel right for me. So I gotta say, so far this is a fail, but I still wanted to show it to you guys, you know, like, uh, I mean, I, I still wanted to show it to you guys that that's the best that I can come up with and like as much as I didn't like it, maybe you guys might like it, I don't know, but it, it wasn't my favorite outfit. Okay, we're gonna move on to the fifth one now. Editing Heather here. I wanted to actually pop in real quick and let you guys know that I have created a second channel. Um, I hope that you're into a healthier um, 
food diet choice. So um, it's not about thrifting, sorry to disappoint you, but I've created another channel, basically showing you guys how we eat, what we eat, and how we make our food. So I will put the name of the channel in the description box below, and I would love it if you guys can go over there and show me some love and just check out some of the new, I just put, I just put up a new video that um, we made and how we make homemade sauerkraut. So go over there, check it out show me some love I would really appreciate that all right thank you guys okay so this one is fun I actually really enjoy wearing this one so this vest is not mine it belongs to my niece uh, she thrifted it when she first come up here and she she lives with me now and I took her to value village and she found this vest and I she was like she was just bragging about how cool this vest is I think she wore them once and so when I told her that I am doing a video just styling all the vests, she had asked me to, um, she's much, much younger. So the way she wears them is like, you know, we're not gonna compare like 20s and, you know, late 40s or 50s, how we style them completely different. But she does, she wants me to style this vest. And so that is exactly what I'm doing. I actually, this vest right here, I think anyone can wear them. It is very, very old. Um, what is up with the vintage? So, so far I have three vintage sweaters or sweater vests. Well, this one is not a sweater, but it's just a regular vest. Um, the brand on this one is called Accents. It's just very old, but it's so freaking cool. It has like a, I don't know if you guys can see it. It has like a little um, waist so that you can tie them in the back. There's like a name for that. Like growing up in the 80s, I used to wear this all the time, but I forgot. And then it has like beads, it has like beadings or beaded like just throughout the vest. And it is actually very, very cute. You have to just like do a close up look. It feels quite heavy. So how I style this, I keep it super, super simple because the sweat, the vest is already very, um, it has a lot going on. So what I did is I just wore my classic white button down shirt and the shirt is from Chico's. And then I have on a super relaxed, kind of like wool blend, white leg uh, pants and it's brown. So it's just perfect for fall. And then I basically, I just kept the outfit super super simple and um and then i just layer this one over it i don't know i think it gives it a little bit of a touch of like um i don't know something something cool <laughs> but it is indeed my one of my favorite looks for this whole entire um for this for this whole entire um outfit not outfit challenge but um it's one of my favorite looks <laughs> Okay, we only have two more to do. And so this vest right here, I also, the sweater vest, I also picked it up maybe like a week ago. I was gonna show this in my haul, but um, this is, I love the color. I actually think it looks, it goes really well with my skin color, but it's very, very, um, it's kind of like a see-through. So you either have to wear like a nude tank top or like a nude bra underneath. I just wear a nude bra. I don't really like, here's something that it's kind of, um, uh, just fun fact, I guess. I don't like to wear leggings because it like hugs on my skin and I don't like to wear a tank top because once it, it's like it's just tuck on my skin. So I don't really wear a tank top or leggings. So I just, with this one, I just wore, um, I wore my nude, uh, just a nude bra underneath. I keep this outfit very, very simple. And so for this one right here, I paired them with a wide leg, uh, wide leg, Wow, everything I was, everything I'm wearing today are like wide leg. So I just pair them with the wide leg stripe pants, and they're also blue. But I, I think, in my opinion, the color it complement the stripe really, really well. And so I, you can wear them like that, and then just to keep the outfit really simple, I. Uh, once again, reuse the white shirt, the Chico white button down shirt as my duster or as my outer layer. And so I just keep it like that. 
very very simple and i like to just touch up my simple outfit with um, maybe like a nice bag or like a nice like dress it up with some nice accessories uh, in this case i just like to use one of my uh, my nice bags that i've collected over the years and so that is another one okay guys so showing you guys my very last sweater vest um, if you have been with me for a while, you probably saw my YouTube short that I did maybe I say about six months ago when I found this. I don't remember how much it cost, maybe $12 I want to say, but I don't know, somewhere between $8 to $12. But the brand is called Heartloom. It's a size medium, 100% cotton. And this little baby is ultra soft okay let me tell you they're not itchy whatsoever you can wear this i can wear this all day every day it's just very light very warm very soft i mean like oh and the color not to mention is how how beautiful is this color i know it's a little bit light for the fall and so what i did is because i really wanted to style this vest even though i know the color is like totally not appropriate for the season so that's why I pair them with more of a darker tone. And so I think that the, um, so what I did is I actually borrowed this pants that, I, that I'm wearing in this outfit from my knees. It fits me, but it was a little snug, but I, ma I, I, made, it, I, I made it fit. Um, so she had this um, capri pants from Uniqlo. And when I saw the color, I was like, oh my God, that color is gonna like, it's gonna complement this yellow color really well. I don't know why I'm just thinking that way when I saw her pants. I mean, you guys, again, you know, chime in, like, you know, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this outfit. But because of this yellow, it's very much like a summer or a spring kind of a color. But I think the way I came up with the, with the color tone combination, I think it works really well. And then um, because this thing is, I like to wear it on its own, like without anything underneath. And so I just put over a very large oversized uh, wool, kind of like a coat, but well, you saw the picture. So yeah, I actually thrifted that coat many years ago and I have been wearing that coat like almost every fall and winter because that is how much I love that coat. That coat has been with me for many, many years and it was thrifted many, many years ago. So just to like, just to let you guys know, like, you know, the kind of things that I thrifted and if I love it, it will really just stay in my closet for a long time. And so I keep it very simple. I keep it, you know, warm, comfortable. And then I just pair them with a white leather Snickers also thrifted a few months ago. And so that is my last look. I really hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. And if you do, um, you know, if you have any kind of comments or whatever, feel free to leave it down in the comment below. And so that is all that I have for you guys today. Please consider subscribing. If you are new here, I would really love to have you join the family. And so as always, you know, I really love, I really love, I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys are giving me. So I will see you guys on the next video real soon. All right, you guys all take care. Bye for now. Have a good one.